Hey guys, uh, today's show is about the email you may have received from your Google Ads account. Uh, simply saying audience keywords in Google Ads is being upgraded to custom intent audiences. So I'm going to spend a few minutes just answering the question you're probably thinking, which is what the hell are custom intent audiences? The good news is this is pretty cool, um, really, really good, a great feature. I think it's a, um, a great evolution of the Google Ads platform. I'm going to show you uh, how to use that um, for your Google Ads uh, across Google Display Network, the GDN, um, and also with YouTube. Um, if you want more tips on how to make more money with Google Ads, get more sales through your website, make sure you subscribe right now because there's a ton of videos coming up over the next few weeks that show you just how to do that. Um, if you have questions about this, then do ask in the comments. We love your comments, even if it's just to say thanks, great video, thumbs up, whatever. Um, anyway, we love your comments. So, um, custom intent audiences, um, what are they? So what Google is doing here is enabling you to target users outside of search. So this is very much um, aimed at the Google Display Network, GDN, and YouTube campaigns. So banner ads, that kind of thing. So um, what it's doing is allowing you to pick keywords, um, rather like you would with the old display. Uh, you pick keywords, but that's going to target uh, users who have searched for those keywords, those phrases on search, um, and effectively kind of remarket to them, but also um, it's going to target content um, with those keywords in as well. So the next steps are uh, how to create custom intent audiences, which I'll do in a moment, um, and also we'll be answering, you know, what's the difference between custom intent audiences and in-market audiences, and which should you use? So heading into Google Ads, um, you'll be familiar, hopefully, with the old way of doing this, which is um, being replaced by uh, custom intent audiences. So before, what we would have is we'd have a campaign, we'd have an ad group, we'd have our ads advertising our product or event or services or whatever it is, um, and we'd go to keywords, rather like a search campaign, and we'd add some keywords. And the recommendation was to add some um, broad kind of topics, uh, broad keywords to for Google to enable um, kind of a, a topic targeting. And what Google would do, so we'd look at e-commerce, Magento, Shopify, PrestaShop, of course, e-commerce platforms, and Google's gonna create a topic uh, based on that and then say, okay, on the display network, here is a page about e-commerce, about Magento, there's a banner ad slot, I will serve your banner there. So what's now happening is these are being replaced. So how do we create custom intent audiences? So in your same ad group with your existing banner ads, obviously you might be creating a new ad group, create an audience rather than keywords. So create an audience based on keywords. So um, you might be familiar with the audience targeting already, so an audience based on people who have visited your website, uh, so a remarketing or retargeting audience, and we're kind of creating a similar kind of thing, except these are people who have searched Google uh, for those terms. So we head into edit audiences, then we can do what they're actively researching or planning, custom intent audience, and here we have new custom intent audience, okay? So the cool thing here, what you can do is put search terms in which people are, are querying Google for. So if someone looking for a service you do, uh, you provide, or a product that you sell, um, or a product that you have an accompanying product for, or maybe someone who's looking for how to fix something and you're an engineer or provide some sort of service, you can effectively target people away from search who are searching for those things. So we can put in, uh, just taking our e-commerce ideas uh, from earlier, we can just type WooCommerce, okay? And then we can start, start targeting uh, a bunch of these things in a list. So plugins, WooCommerce, this kind of thing. So maybe if you're a WooCommerce developer or something like that, um, you can just start adding all of these things, uh, shipping plugins, WooCommerce cart plugin, shop plugin, all this kind of stuff, um, and start to build your keyword list. So remember, you want to keep this 
um, either fairly specific if your offer is fairly specific and you don't want to spend a huge amount of money or um, if your um, if your offer if your ad is kind of a bit more broad then maybe you want to expand out on these so you might have an ad group with just WooCommerce keywords targeting WooCommerce you might have another one for Magento you might have another one for uh, big commerce and so forth or you might just have an e-commerce group with all of those things in with an e-commerce offer for example Here's the really great thing though. So I love this. So we can actually put in the URL for a website. Now this doesn't mean to say we are advertising on that domain name. What it means is we are targeting users who have actually visited that domain, okay? If, uh, so if I do shopify.co.uk, that's all pages within that domain. If you were to target shopify.co.uk forward slash blog, let's say they're, they're, that's their uh, location of their blog, that's blog and every URL, every sub page within that. So you're, you're bidding um, on an audience who have visited uh, pages within that path. If uh, there's an e-commerce store maybe that has a specific product, uh, maybe there are two dozen kind of websites, including Amazon, those types of websites, that have a specific product and that's what you sell, you could take the specific product URL from Amazon and from other websites and put that in here and it would then um, target people who have visited that specific URL. It's gonna create a much smaller audience for you, um, so just be careful with that. So you can create this audience, this custom intent audience using keywords, you can create it with URLs or you could create it with a combination of the two. Pretty powerful stuff. I'd love to know how you get on with this uh, in the comments. Um, just give us some feedback. I'd love to hear how you get on. But that's how we do the targeting, create the audiences. Again, now you can go and create your ad groups, your campaigns to target this across the GDN, the Google Display Network, or you could target um, users on YouTube with videos like this one. Um, so you can do things like that. So the next question is, what about custom intent, uh, custom intent audiences versus in-market audiences? So you may have seen this already. Um, so if we just uh, do this, so we've got an in-market audience, which has been around for uh, Google Display and YouTube ads for quite some time. Um, so how does this compare with custom intent? So in-market audience is, is kind of much broader in terms of how it targets. So it's much higher up the funnel in terms of display ads. So if someone is in the market for, uh, let's have a look at business services, and uh, we have one for SEO, SEM, um, but business financial services, okay? So that isn't specific enough if maybe you are a loan, business loan company, for example, or maybe you provide some sort of invoice financing, those kinds of things. So those would fit in that category, but they're not specific enough for what you might do. So if you are a broad business financial services company, then, uh, and you offer lots of different services, then you might have kind of a fairly broad targeting, uh, targeting campaign with ads, really just to create your brand. If you want to create more action and more specific ads, then you really should thinking about custom. Uh, really should be thinking about custom intent audiences. So that's all for today. Um, as I say, there's more coming up, so make sure you subscribe right now. I'd love to hear how you're getting on with this. So do let me know in the comments and uh, give me some feedback on on how you're getting on. Whether it's worked for you, whether you found it terrible, whether you get stuck with something. Um, let me know.